In this video, I'll provide a brief introduction to the Uglify.js node module. If you'd like to follow along with the code samples, please clone this GitHub repo. Let's first look at the files we're going to minify. So over here on the root, we have three files, file-1.js, file-2.js, and file-3.js. These files contain just arbitrary JavaScript, but the purpose of them is to give us three JavaScript files that we want to minify and combine together into one. So uh, this array called days has the seven days of the week, and this in file-2.js we have the 12 months of the year, and in file-3.js we have just a bunch of years. But in each case, we're taking advantage of space. We're, we're laying things out in a way that's human readable, or I should say a way that humans like to read things like code. Um, we could have done something like this. We could have taken, you know, reduce as much space as possible, but we don't like to see things like that. We like things laid out in a way that's easy on our eyes. So just bear in mind that kind of the purpose of these three files is to present JavaScript that is laid out in a human readable way, but takes advantage of space. And we're going to minify these files. So next, let's look at this file, uglify.js. There's three variables being created here. The first one, fs, is a reference to the file system module. The second variable, uglify.js, is a reference to the require module. And the third variable, result, is where we're storing the result of our minification. So we're calling the minify method of the uglify.js uh, module. And we're passing it an array. That array happens to have one element. It's a path to the file, file-1.js. It's a relative path, and because that file is in the same folder as our JavaScript, it's just file-1.js. If it was in a subfolder called data, we'd see data forward slash file-1.js here. So it's just a relative path here. So we're passing it the name of this one file. It's in an array, and the minify method minifies that file and stores that work in here in this result object. And then we're going to output that to the console. So we're outputting result.code. So just know that the result object has a code property, and the code property is the actual uh, text that has our minification. Next, we're creating a file. We're calling the write file method of the FS module. So the first argument is the path to the file we're creating. So output.min.js will be created in the same folder as that we're in. And uh, if it exists, we're going to overwrite it. The second argument is the contents of that file. What goes in output.min.js? And we're going to uh, put the code property of the result object. So it's going to be the result of our minification. That's what's going to go in the file. And the third argument here is callback. We first check to see if there was an error. If there was, we output it. And if there wasn't, we just output a message saying the file was successfully saved. So let's see this in action. I'm going to open up a terminal and also open up the folder so I can see um, the result of our command. So I'm going to type this command node space uglify.js. And we see down here that a file called output.min.js was created. And also we saw this console message, which is the result of our minification. And this console message file was successfully saved, which we saw up here. So let's take a look at output.min.js. Now, this file is the minified file. And it, in this case, looks very much like file-1.js. The only difference is in file-1.js, or the source file, we took advantage of space. We had things kind of laid out. We had a space between the word days and the equal sign, and same between equals and the opening bracket for the array. And then each word was on its own line. In the output.min.js, there's no such space. Every possible space has been removed. We can't remove this space because we have to have var space days to take advantage of the var keyword. But then every possible space that existed has been removed. So we took our source file and we minified it or uglified it. Let's uglify. Uh, let's look. Take a look at uglify-all.js. There's almost no difference between these two files. In fact, if you toggle them back and forth, you'll see that. Um, the only difference here is that there's uh, three elements in this array. So we're calling the minify method of the uglify.js module, but 
we're passing an array of three elements, and those three elements are file-1, file-2, and file-3.js. So we're going to take three JavaScript files, combine them, and minify them, and the rest is the same. So let's see what happens when we run that. I'm going to go back to my console and run the command node space uglify hyphen all.js and then we get our, our console log messages and if we look at output.min.js you can see that this is the contents of file-1, file-2, and file-3 but it's been combined and minified. We see our days array, our months array, and our years array but in, in each case it, every single space possible was removed and the code was uh, minified as much as possible. So this code is not very friendly to look at, it's not human readable, or it's not the way we like to read code, but it's compressed and uh, depending on your um, deployment method it's probably what you want in terms of deploying the smallest file possible uh, for your release. I focused on the minify method in this video because it's a really simple way to gather up multiple JavaScript files and minify them and put them into one file. But the Uglify.js module has a lot more, some pretty advanced functionality. And if you look, take a look at their um, their npm page, the documentation is pretty good. So I hope this uh, this in introduction got you where you needed to go. Um, but just know there's a lot more under the hood to, to dig into. Um, but hopefully this uh, this got you started.